When I was given genomic testing, I found out that I had a PIK3CA mutation. But my oncologist did not decide to treat that. Why is that? Yeah, that's a great question. Genomic testing is not always done right off the bat in women who have metastatic breast cancer. But at the time of progression, it should be done. Mm. The important point here is that not every mutation we find is one that we act upon. We call these actionable mutations. Mm -hmm. While some women have the PIK3C mutation in their genomic testing, it's not always something we use for treatment. Mm -hmm. In some women, the presence of that mutation allows them to get certain treatments. For mm -hmm. example, we currently have an FDA-approved oral therapy for the PIK3C mutation-positive patients. Currently, that treatment is only for women that are estrogen receptor positive, HER2 negative. Mm. But as it turns out, because you were, as you said, wildly HER2 positive, the drugs that attack HER2 are far more effective. Mm. And so while you have this mutation in your cancer, at least as of right now, it's not something that your oncologist would use. But stay tuned on that because mm. over the next months to years, it's possible we'll be combining different therapies. But that's generally why we didn't use it. And are there other mutations? Yes, there are. And, and these are the ones that really the last few years the, of genomic testing have revealed. Mm. There's one called the ESR1. Mm -hmm. So ESR1 sounds like a fancy gene. It's actually the gene for the estrogen receptor. Mm -hmm. So the, the receptor itself has the ability to mutate. Mm. So the way I look at it is cancer cells are always trying to get around the dam on the river. The river of estrogen, we put a dam on the river, mm -hmm. cancer cells are figuring out ways to get around. Mm -hmm. One of those ways is to actually change the dam, and mm. that's the ESR1 mutation. So we've known about this mutation for a few years now, and we now have a specific therapy targeted at that mutation. Women who have a mutation in that receptor generally don't respond to the standard oral medications like the aromatase inhibitors or tamoxifen, mm -hmm. and we have to give them a different type of treatment that attacks it. There's another mutation recently that's been looked at. It's called the AKT1 mm. mutation. Mm -hmm. There is now an oral drug targeting that mutation. Mm. And there's a few others that like the P10 uh, mutation. And there's some more coming that, that we're looking at. But the way to look at these mutations is women may not have them right off the bat. In the initial diagnosis, when we do genomic testing, we may not find an ESR1. But then after a certain amount of treatment, the cancer is trying to figure out how to get around the treatment, and it develops this mutation. Mm -hmm. Again, underscoring the importance of repeat genomic testing, which is why having this conversation with your oncologist regularly is, mm -hmm. is relevant in terms of the options you may have, and not just the options your oncologist may give you, but also options for clinical trials mm -hmm. and, and novel therapies that we're looking at for novel mutations that we're discovering. Mm -hmm.